Thank you for watching this video. On the previous videos, I have shown you how you can import products from eBay to WooCommerce using the plugin WooShark for eBay and WooCommerce. The first video I have shown you how you import single products. On the second video, I have shown you how to import products in bulk using the import all button on one page or by adding to the waiting list from different pages and different searching result. So today I will show you how you can use the real eBay shipping method, cost and delivery date when a customer places an order on your shop. To do this, there are three steps, very easy. The first step is import product using the plugin. The second step is set up the configuration and the last step is to place the order and see and see how it works. So what I will do right now, I will go and search for uh, some search keyword. I will put t-shirt for example. I will choose uh, this one or this one, I don't know. Let's take this one just for testing purpose. Okay, here the shipping cost is zero. I'll try to find one with shipping cost more than this to see all the shipping uh, services. So I will import this one, it has 248 shipping cost. I will wait a little bit. Okay, this is the model. I will not customize anything. If you want to see how it works, you can watch the previous video and then I click import. I will wait some seconds to see if the product is inserted correctly or not. And I will open also the original product URL to see, to compare actually. So this is taking some seconds. Normally it should be faster. Okay, this is good, let's say. So the product is inserted successfully. It should have a lot of variation. That's why it takes more time. Okay, so the product is here. I will open the product. So now that the product is in your shop, that's the first step. It's very easy to do. What you need to do as the next step is to set up the configuration to use eBay shipping methods. To do this, very easy. Third tab called configuration tab. Go to the end and uh, you check this checkbox and then you save the configuration. That's the second step. With that in mind, the last step is to place the order on your shop. What I will do, I will go to the list of products. I'll pick the last product, this one. I will simulate actually an end user. So I, I will open this product page. Let's imagine that I'm a customer. I decided to buy this t-shirt black and large because I'm a little bit fat. And I will add this to the cart. Okay, everything is fine. The product is out to the cart. Check your cart. Okay, the product is here. And if I go there, I will see that there is, uh, the, for the situation, there is only one shipping company. It's USPS first class. The delivery date is seven dates and will cost two euro forty nine. I will take another product to show you also how it can work different situation so I will pick I don't know this one maybe oh, okay let's take this one so I will repeat the same thing again I will visit the product page okay and we'll add this to the cart oh, I need to remove the previous one from from the cart this one and maybe refresh the page no, it's fine. I think it's, it's intelligent. So there are two shipping methods. The first one is using expedited shipping. I think it's shipping company in USA. And you can use overnight shipping, which costs, I think, a little bit more. So it's two days and here is three days. Let's see what happens if I change the country. Let's say I want to ship to France. Sometimes there are international companies and sometimes not. So. Okay, yeah. if you want to ship to France, it will cost you 24 euro.89. That's how it works. I will try to ship to Canada to see if there is also 
so it's a little bit less it's with expedited international shipping it's 24.99 that's how the shipping will work if you want to disable this and you want to use your own shipping methods what you need to do is go to configuration disable this one save configuration refresh your shopping cart like the customer shopping cart and okay I think I need to remove because this has already been added. Okay, I will add this one purple. Oh, view card. And okay, no shipping option or fines for Canada. That's because we did not find any shipping method in our in our store. If I go to visit my store, I will go to setting, WooCommerce setting, then shipping and here you can see that there is no shipping at all if I enable again it will be displayed there all the shipping methods so this is how it works I hope you understand how the shipping met methods work and see you on the next video thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye